Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to operate the lathe, okay? So we're going to talk about lathe operations. We're dealing with a standard modern lathe here. It's a smaller lathe. Uh, and we're just going to go through the different things, okay? So you're not going to see my face too much, but hopefully you can hear me just fine. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to raise both these guards. We never want to slam the guards. So make sure you just put the guards up nice and soft like that. So the first thing you're usually going to want to do when you set the lathe is you're going to want to We'll familiarize ourselves with a few of the, uh, the parts of it. So we have our chuck right here, which we've talked about earlier on in the lathe safety, which holds our workpiece. We have a tail stock down here, which slides back and forth and has interchangeable tools in it. The tail stock can have the tools come in and out of it, like so. If you take the tail stock and you back the tail stock all the way out like this, you can take this drill chuck out, you have a drill chuck here, and you can put another attachment in like a lathe center. There's many different attachments that can go in the tail stock. So we'll put this back in there, we'll bring this out of the way. So on the opposite end of the tail stock, we have what's called the head stock right here. And then the head stock has all the gears that we can change the speeds of the lathe. You can see there's four different, six different speeds right here that we can change it to. So to change the speeds of the lathe, you would do something similar like this. So let's just say, hope you can see this well in the video, uh, I wanted to spin it at 300 RPM right here. You take the selector, you pull it out, you turn it over to the three. If it does not drop in, you spin the chuck a bit by hand and it'll fall in. And if you look over to here, it says it's in high gear. So we have it up in high gear there. And what we're gonna do is check it out, see if it's right. Yeah, we have our spindle spinning. So if I wanted to say go to 167 right here, I would pull the selector out. And if it doesn't go in, you just spin the chuck a little bit over into the 167 line here. And if you look over there, it says it's in low. So we pull this out, we put it down into low gear like so, and give it a jog. And yes, we're in the right speed. Okay? So that's the head stock and the tail stock. Uh, what we have next here is we have the carriage that has the tool post and all that on it. Okay? So the carriage runs back and forth like this with the carriage hand wheel. And this is called the cross feed right here, the cross feed hand wheel. This little wheel right here is called the compound rest. The compound rest will be used to cut tapers later on. We'll talk about that later as well, okay? So basically, that's the different parts of the machine. To turn it on and off, there's a little handle down here that you can see. You pull it up to turn it on. You always want the chuck spinning towards you because that's the forward motion. If it's spinning away from you like that, you've got it in reverse, that's no good. So you want it spinning towards you like this. And then you'll notice there's a big red button here too. So if you're running into any problems, you can hit the big red E stop and it shuts the machine off, okay? If the machine's been shut off, there's a button way down here below that you can't really see that you have to turn it back on. Down here, like this, that turns the machine on and then you can start it up again, okay? So, that's a little bit about the lathe itself right there, all right? So what we gotta talk about next is how to set the cutter up on the lathe, because setting the cutter up on the lathe is probably, the, it's the next thing you need to do. We need to put our workpiece in and we need to set the cutter up. So that's kind of just a little overview of the lathe and its parts right there and, and how to start it up. Wait, I didn't talk about how to set the feed yet on it. That's all down in the quick change gearbox here. We're not gonna talk about that right yet. I'll talk about that in a later video, okay? So that's just a quick video on the different parts of the lathe and how the lathe actually operates. Uh, we're gonna get into the next video of how to set the cutter.